Today, I'll show you how to use Elementor to embed any 3D design on your site. You can add interactive 3D models like this, this, or even this. It's super easy. All you have to do is design the model on Spline and add it to the page using some code, which I will add in the description below. Sounds good? Awesome, let's start the video then. Now that your website is optimized and ready, let's design a 3D model. So this is my Spline account and I'm currently using the free version. The free version has limited design features and also leaves a watermark in the final design like this. If that's okay with you, proceed with the free version. Otherwise, you can consider upgrading to the paid version. For now, I'm going to stick with the free version. To create the design, select this shape from the toolbar. Also, if you're interested, they've got this resource page with a bunch of awesome looking models that you can use for your projects. Okay, let's get back to the tutorial. So first, let's soften the edges and adjust the size like this. Now, to get that 3D fill, we have to add some effects to it. So let's click on loop cut and see how it looks. Next, let's add some depth to the structure. So I'll change the material and replace it with this gold one. Then I'll compress the center and create this structure. Let's see how it looks. I think I need to add some more structure to it. So I'll adjust this section a little bit like this. Okay, this might take a few minutes. I don't want to bore you. So let's just cut to the part where my model is almost ready. Okay, this looks good. Next, I'll add a text. So let's drag the text widget and add the text. Its size. Then I'll adjust the fonts and colors like this. And this is how the final design looks. Let me show you how it looks from different angles. Okay, here's what I made in just a few minutes. And this is coming from a guy who's never designed 3D elements before. So Spline is definitely beginner friendly. All right, now that we have the design, it's time to export it and use it on the website. But before that, whenever I'm doing some design work for clients, I make sure to install this free plugin Airlift because, okay, let me actually show you this. So that's my site speed before and that's after. It does a lot of optimizations automatically and keeps stuff fast. So you should definitely try this and I'll leave the link in the description below. We'll export our 3D elements as embed code to maintain interactivity. So click on export options and hide the background. And page scroll effects and enable the on hover effects like this. Then update the URL, go to overview and copy the embedded code that you can integrate into your website. Then. I'll go to my website dashboard and I already have this page ready. Let's drag the HTML widget and paste the code here. Here you can adjust the size of the model. I'll just change it to this. And once everything is done, update the page and click here to preview it. Okay, it's working well and I can also interact with it. Comment below if you have any questions and I'll help you out. In this three minute video, I'll show you a free plugin to triple your site speed. You're really gonna thank me for this. So click here and I'll see you there.